hey my friend so you want to make money online one of the secrets to making money online is that you need to have a tribe you need to have followers you have to need to have people connecting with you, you need to be to have people who follow you who know who you are before you really make money sure you can make sales by doing ads you can do all sorts of different things but if you really want to generate income it takes time sorry to tell you burst your bubble I, I you know I know it's it you would like to it to be really quick like I wanted to but it just doesn't happen that much that fast sorry it doesn't happen that fast because all that needs to happen first so we're going to talk about building your fans how do you do that how do you get people to actually follow you and like you and and connect with you how do you do that with the social media world today and we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so on the weekend I was actually talking to Ven Vene I, I, I sorry I I'll have I have to look up the name but anyways it's somebody who I met online who's actually a coach who actually helps people to build their business online and I was having a talk with him just because we connected we 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 started talking to each other a little bit online and we and exchanged on our posts uh, comments content all that stuff and I just thought you know let's have a conversation with him right see if he can help me with anything that I'm working towards right and one of the things that he mentioned when he was looking through my blogs looking at my content he's seeing things he's like so he first had this 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 comment that what I'm doing is you know generating t teaching people to generate income from courses right course income secrets what does that tell you what does that tell you course income secrets the secrets to course income right so that means that that's really what I should be talking about if you're going to listen or look at my course income secrets it has to help you with that if it doesn't then obviously my message is wrong right and the other thing is that he was looking at one of my um one of my ebooks I have on my site the the 12 critical steps of your online success right and I thought that was a great title and it it is still pretty good but he was saying that it's not specific enough and I think that makes sense right so but how do you get people to buy your stuff how do you get people to buy your stuff I've been talking about generating income from the e-learning boom right that's my my question that I ask in my intro right and by the way if you're listening to the audio of this make sure you go check out the video because I'm probably I'm going to share screens and I'm going to show you different things and you can go check that out at cis286.jsgagnon.com jsgagnon.com cis286 go check it out to uh, watch the video and read the blog post all right so how do you get people to be your fans you know I I'm actually listening also to Russell Brunson he talks in his um click funnel story where he talks about how uh people get upset that they only have 10 followers or they only have 10 people viewing their videos or they only have you know five people liking their stuff and it it's frustrating because you feel like there's nobody you know nobody there's not a, I don't have enough people following me I don't have enough people interested in me right and the thing is that he told the story and I'm going to tell you the same story you know when we talk about uh boats that 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 um you know the, the the coast guard goes over to save people that are in the water that the boat you know capsized and the and they got the helicopter and they're going over there to save people how do they decide who to save right how do they decide who to save I'm like well I don't know they look in the water and they see you know this person looks like they're having more trouble they're going to drown they can't swim so let's go save that person no that's actually not how they do it they can't do that there's too many people in the water they <laughs> save the people that are swimming towards them imagine I was like wow but it makes sense because you know if people are swimming towards that that they don't have time to go save everybody so whoever's swimming towards them so remember that if you're drowning go swim towards go ahead and swim towards the 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 helicopter because that's how you get saved 
you got to go towards them same thing with your online world you want to build a, a business online you want to have fans well help the people that are asking for help help the people that are connecting those people that are watching your videos those 10 15 20 people that are watching your videos they're the ones that are your fans that are going to become your fans they're they're listening they're connecting so this is and this is how you do it right you start with let me just share my screen here I mean you start with if I if I look at my my YouTube videos oh okay my computer's giving me a hard time again I I wish I knew what was going on on my computer because I think my sound is going to be hopefully my sound's not going to be off okay well hopefully this will help I just kind of pause thing to see what will happen but um yeah okay so let me just share the screen here all right so on uh share the screen okay so on YouTube right I mean I have videos I have I uh, like you see right here look one view four views two views one view let me go see if I can show you my Facebook one so yeah I mean on Facebook like this right I mean see 42 30 33 36 can you see those numbers yeah 38 you know uh, 35 people 35 23 so there's not a lot of people watching my stuff but the thing is that you have to realize I'm I'm omnipresent I'm posting everywhere so I'm on I'm on Facebook I'm on I'm on YouTube I'm on Twitter I'm on LinkedIn I mean I keep telling you that if you've been following me for any length of time you know that I'm everywhere I'm omnipresent right so I'm getting a little bit of views everywhere right uh I, I I'm tempted to show you other other uh platforms but I'm worried that my computer is going to give me a problem but the point is to grow your fans you got to have people that are there that are connecting that are interested that are seeing your stuff right so how do you do that how do you grow your fans so that you have people that are swimming towards you right so you have these people and the thing is that social media is the huge huge ocean of people right there's millions billions of people on on Facebook on LinkedIn on Twitter on Instagram right so it's really hard to get people to connect with you if they only see you once in their in their whole you know life right they're not going to connect with you that way so you got to build tribe so me what I'm doing right now you might have seen this uh if you haven't you should definitely connect with me on there go if you're so if you're building your business online one of the things you want to be doing is you want to be doing or at least eventually you want to be planning to do webinars right a weekly webinar where you sell something whatever it is that you're building whatever you're selling and that's something I've I've been doing for a while and I've decided to put a <sighs> wow <laughs> I've decided to put a break on it because I want to uh perfect it and really go through the process with others that are building it themselves to to kind of define the whole thing right like I, I just actually this uh this is a uh I'm still learning how to use zoom for this but where is it emails where is it where is it? oh right right here so basically I'm actually putting together a webinar or oh, it's not a webinar it's just a mastermind it's going to be a mastermind a perfect webinar mastermind the first one I'm doing right now perfect webinar mastermind where you're going to be able to interact with others that are doing that and me and we're going to be talking about the everything right we're going to be talking about uh, your slides we're going to your slides right your actual offer your registration page your thank you page your email sequences your stack your stories everything that has to do with the perfect webinar right so when you're doing a webinar there's all these things you gotta you gotta do it the right way if you don't do it the right way it doesn't really give you the results like me I've been doing it but not exactly taking the time to really prepare and and then and you know at the same time I talk about not 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 spending all your time preparing you gotta take action but the thing is that there's a balance right between taking action and preparing if you don't prepare if you don't put together at least the basics what we call a uh, wireframe right the wireframe just kind of the the pieces and how they fit together right just and the sequence how they how they how how you how you want your ideal customer to go through this process what is it that you're you're going to do with them right how does that all work anyways I'm I'm kind of digressing I'm rambling about the webinar the perfect webinar uh, just before let's just go back to the original topic of, of the fact that you need fans 
to build to make money online you need fans you need people following you you need people connecting with you how do you make that happen so um so let's just go to uh, say on Facebook so the first thing you're going to want to do definitely what you want to do if I go to Facebook let's just go to Facebook my Facebook should open up a new tab so on my Facebook page right I post things on Facebook right just uh just normal daily stuff oops if I go back to say uh, my own profile so the first thing you want to do is you want to be posting content regularly right you want to be posting stuff um every day every couple days at least um sharing some things that you do and you know like if you look at my profile right I've got these videos I do every day that have to do with my, with course income secrets but I also and this is during the week I usually post that right but I also share things that I care about I also post like on the weekend especially I'll post uh, some things like this weekend I did we did some uh, some some pancakes which are kipes some kipes in French and I also been listening to Russell Brunson's CF startup stories I shared that and I just posted you know you can do it uh, you, you do things that whatever right and then there's also COVID stuff that's going on so I posted that then I also did a sugar pie and also our daughter here with the little kitty and then a picture of me my my that's actually my sister that shared that and then I'm doing a skating rink so I just posted a picture of that as I'm putting it together right so there's there's all this that is happening you're posting things letting people know who you are what you're about right so that's one thing you got to be posting content you got to be you can do that on Facebook and do that on uh, other platforms whatever platform you're you're comfortable on it doesn't really matter because there's millions of people on all the platforms right so you can get people to connect with you by just seeing your stuff right so you got to have like I you got to have obviously you need a, a friend list I mean do I can you see that right there so I got 4,193 friends right so you gotta have friends and just posting isn't enough on Facebook and that's the thing right with Facebook uh, with all the whole the whole um social media what they call organic right the organic reach is based on your activity on the platform right or your willingness to spend money which nobody nobody really wants to spend money just to get people to know you right but you kind of have to do that if you don't have the time to do the organic or the manual work right and what do I mean by organic so you see right here I've got 17 comments on this and 50 people that liked it right on this one here well this is not me that posted it that's so this one here had 26 comments right and 32 people that liked it now on this one I only have two three four people that liked it no comments uh this one I don't even have anybody who liked it right this one here I got 17 comments so how do you get people to actually comment on your stuff to to actually connect right with you right um you in, in social media it's it's a reciprocity game it's a reciprocity game what does that mean what does reciprocity mean reciprocity is I do to you you do to me right so it's a back and forth thing it's yeah if I do something for you you're going to do something but it's it's a bit bigger than that it's not about me going and commenting on my other people's stuff like if I go here and I just click on some of these friends right let's say I go to Chris here if I go to his page right and I look at his things well look he's got how did how much did YouTube pay me for 8.9 million that's I just say I'll just say wow wow that's that's amazing right so I mean he's uh he's a guy I don't I don't even know who that is it's somebody that I connected with not long ago he's talking about uh YouTube uh had over six figures so I comment on his stuff it doesn't mean that I'm doing that because I want him to comment on my stuff in Facebook world in social media most of the platforms are the same it's not to do with you uh engaging on a on a particular person's things to that you expect them to engage on you I can go through here 28 mutual friends I can just go to one of these other friends I can go through and I can just well I guess this one's not a friend of mine I thought they were um okay 
I guess fa I thought Facebook was I it's anyways it's so if I just say uh I guess I can't see the mutual friends this way okay so if I go to just directly to people's posts that would ha what happens is Facebook recognizes that I'm active and that I'm commenting on other people's things and then Facebook will show my stuff in the news feed if I just go to the news feed right <coughs> what's showing up here in the news feed well there's ads obviously but anything that's not an ad right this uh, post here or this post here Dem Demelza in a group here right or James over here or or Jason over here these posts that I'm seeing in my news feed they're based on people that I've either interacted with like Lisa Marie over here right they can't do it they can't do what you do like you do period I think I already commented on that I'm not gonna but and then you know if I look at these these posts these are just regular posts of other people that I either interact with regularly or that Facebook thinks that I'm gonna like that I'm gonna interact because they're similar to other posts I've interacted to before so that helps that person right this person here Scott over here to um that helps him to become to, to to be more seen because Facebook shows that person so the anyways the point I'm trying to make here is that if you're engaging if you're commenting then people are going to see your stuff only if you're active and commenting and liking so that's the first thing so first so I guess the second thing first thing post regularly right post to your platforms regularly now for me I use uh, content engine syndication engine and all that stuff to post a one one video at least I do at least that secondly you got to engage on things you got to go and comment on things and you got to either like them or or you know re react or that kind of stuff right and and by doing that Facebook notices you and then might sh and will share more of your stuff so more people see your stuff and comment on your stuff right so that's the second thing the third thing is you're gonna you really do want to have a page that people can like because on Facebook you got a limit of 5,000 friends right so if you can't if you can't get more than 5,000 people following you you're going to need a page because you can't have more than like I said 5,000 friends right but if you have a page people can connect with you so all you got to do is you click on the plus right here I, oh we can't even see that let me just make this a little bit smaller let's do this let's make this the full page uh, uh, uh let me fix that come back okay so now when you go here you just click on the plus up here right and then you say page right you choose page right here so you create a page you give it a name uh you know perfect webinar per per like for me I can create this page right perfect webinar mastermind so category um so online marketing social media let's say personal let's just say personal 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 blog doesn't really matter let's what is going on over there okay so I mean you know if it's it, I could put a description here and create the page and then uh, do all this this um, setting up of a page you need it why do you need a page why do you need a page because you want to build an audience over 5,000 you want to have a, a million followers right well you can't have a million friends so you need a page and the other thing is you will eventually want to do ads you're going to want to you're you're gonna have to do that eventually you might want to try to avoid it for a long as long as you can but with a page you can get fans that actually follow you and con and create your content so for me I'm not going to do this one I'm just going to show you one of my other pages I have if I go back <coughs> to the main yes I want to leave 
okay so if I go here and look at my pages I got a bunch of pages right so I created a bunch of pages I'm I probably shouldn't have a bunch of pages like this I did it because eventually I want to as you can see there's I have zero likes here only 18 likes here only 28 likes here 120 likes here 179 right here 117 right here I don't really know why I have likes on some of these pages I used to have a page with 23,000 likes and another one with 18,000 likes uh, but one of the things is I actually did stuff I should not be doing on Facebook like for example I created an ad that en enticed people to follow or to like my page without being an, an actual like campaign and Facebook doesn't like you doing things that aren't what they want they want you to spend money for likes campaigns to get people to like your page so that's why I haven't really been focusing on trying to build my likes but if I really did want to I could create a campaign let's say for example I go in here and let's go into my ads manager is it here where do they put it now I I, I guess I can just go to this page here and I can just go and promote right click on promote that takes me to the ads I want to build my brand I want to get more website I want to boost the post I want to get more page. let's just say I boost the post so let's just say I boost one of these posts that I have in here that's my videos let's just see what do I have one of the videos from last week I want to promote one of the uh lots of the so this page is actually the page that I've got linked with my Instagram so that's why you see all these other things that I posted here right December 11th it's got to be in here IG see by IG by social jukebox by IG by social jukebox where's my this is weird why is my uh why is my video not there from my course income secrets video hmm let's let's go back to another page let's go back to another page let's go to my course income secrets page oh course income secrets and let's boost a post see what happens well maybe I'm, it doesn't let me if it's so published by published yeah so see these are the videos 23 285 284 why is why is there no no 25 285 over here <coughs> 23 how to get started online so let's do this one so this is the other thing you're going to be creating ads then this is one good way to do it, to a simple way to do it right so you got to have audience let's say I, I, I promote to my Russell fans right uh, I'm just gonna run it for two five days I'm just gonna make it I'm just gonna spend you know 50 bucks 50 bucks in five days that'll be five dollars a day for five days right and that's it so that's as simple as that right learn more no I don't want to do that this is going to be cis what is it 285 283 was it dot js so that's actually the uh, the blog post I want to make sure it goes to my blog post it should be reloading right here right is it 283 283 that's perfect okay so that's my blog post that actually goes to my blog post says 283 right there right and I'm just gonna go boost post so now the thing is by the way most of the stuff I post that I that I boost always gets rejected every single time it gets rejected um, because they they see um so your ad is being you know right 24 hours so I mean they see that I'm into personal branding uh attraction marketing and I post about making money and that kind of stuff and that's automatically something that they reject right but you but pretty much every time I just do a I just do an appeal you know you click a button right to get it get it checked by a human instead of a robot and they usually always approve it so but you just keep that in mind right you might end up having that kind of situation with anything you boost right so that's 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 one thing right so on social media create content every single day do engagement on other people's stuff so that people see your stuff and you can do ads create a page that kind of stuff now the other thing is you might want to have uh, an email list so aweber I use aweber you can use different ones aweber 
okay I guess I'll just go here I got this here right here AWeber. so I use AWeber to build a list so you're going to want to have a list you need to have a list if you don't have a list and you're not sending stuff to your list pretty much every day you're actually gonna you're you that's one way to nurture your audience right I mean I send emails every single day I send it to you know if I look at this what's been sent it's not that uh, I don't get an insane amount of people looking at my stuff right 26 open 24 27 33 63 68 28 right these red ones is because it's below 10 percent and um if I put percentages right 4.5 4.0 c above 10 percent they consider they consider it a good open rate right anything below that is considered bad and there's some sort of integration with email providers they actually somehow know well I guess they know because there's a lot of people that are in on gmail for example right so gmail sees these emails that are being sent and they see how many people open them and how many people don't know that stuff they know all that so depending on your depending on your reach depending on whether people open your emails or not that's when the emails get sent to spam versus inbox if your emails aren't opened enough then it doesn't and so you know that's kind of why I have to improve this right but the point is that you need a list you need to be sending emails you need to be building your audience you need to be getting people to know like and trust you that's the most important thing if you don't have people constantly seeing your stuff if you're not posting content if you're not creating content if you're not engaging if you're not doing all, any of these things if you're not doing all these things it's just not going to work I mean unless you have tons, tons of money to spend on ads and you know if you want to generate income from a course you can't just start selling a course you can't just create a course and then expect it to just generate income right that's just that's just crazy it's like if you think you're gonna let's say you have a restaurant you create you build a restaurant you build a restaurant and you start to you have this menu you hire people you build you create the well not create but you decorate a building you take a lease you do all these things you're not gonna have people come to your restaurant unless they've heard they know it they know it's a great restaurant and people word of mouth and advertise you know spend money on advertising or you got a word of mouth with your friends and family and things like that it's the same thing online if people don't know you they're not gonna buy from you <laughs> it's really that simple <laughs> but how do you get people to know you it's by creating content you got to create content you got to have places where people can see your stuff and if it's just one platform and you're focusing on that platform you're spending like an hour a day on Facebook engaging and getting people to see your stuff that's great but if you want to be omnipresent you you can't spend an hour on every single platform right that's ridiculous uh you could hire people so again money we're back to money right or you just post and you be regular and you be consistent and eventually people are going to start to notice you and they're going to start to like they're going to start to know you they're going to start to know you know the first thing is you got to notice you then after they notice you they start to see your stuff and then then hopefully they like you they start to like you because they're like oh this person is this person is cool I I think they're 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 oh I learned this this thing from this person I learned that I did this right and that's kind of how it goes that's how that's how it grows right you got to grow your number of people that see you over time and it takes time and you know even if you're frustrated by the fact you only have 10 views on your video or you only have five comments on your post just remember those are the people that are swimming to you you can you can you know you can save them help them with any kind of problems they have ask you know if you if you want ask them what is it that they're needing help with right and that's what I'm doing with this this like I said this webinar that I'm putting on right where you can come in and so if you want to register I don't even know I'm gonna have to put that uh, a registration link someplace this is one of the first times I actually do a webinar using um using um I guess there's the link right here uh I would have to uh, definitely I can't you know send this to people I can't tell you you got to type this p p w equals c undo whatever right it's going to be a link that you're just going to click on and it's going to be a mastermind link I'm actually going to post that into my um 
into my group let's go do that I'm going to post that in the group let's go to my group where's my oh I guess I I have the other page right here if I go back here and I go to my groups where's my groups my groups right here uh, uh -huh. let's go to the group it's loading up uh, my group right over here and I'm going to post that here and look at that uh, there's one here register at here so okay I'm gonna try I'm going to I'm going to give zoom whoops zoom webinar a try register here for mastermind and we can help each other with our webinars tomorrow night yes I will also whoops I will also stream this live in the group and you'll be able to comment and interact that way too there you go so post that there we go so now that's going to be the um the link for it hopefully we'll get a few registrants I don't know we'll see but that's the thing you got to have a community you got to build your fan base you got to have people like C for example um where was that right over here right we got Shagar who said it was awesome I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually love this and then hope to hope to see see you there I know it's I know okay and we'll see if he replies and you know that's and that's the thing right I mean I'm, I'm the only one posting right now I've only got 20 people in this 25 members in here right so I definitely want to make sure that I get more people in here and I'm looking for people who actually are doing webinars that's my current um you know thing that I'm building right so anyways that's hopefully you enjoyed this and you got some value from this and uh that that's kind of what you gotta do you gotta build a tribe you gotta have a tribe you gotta have people who follow you who love you who want to connect with you and this is part of it how you do it you just start all right hopefully this uh we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.